Well, most of us Minnesotans know that Judy Garland, Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, was born in Grand Rapids. But as Boyd Hooper reports, another Minnesotan is now getting recognition for her part in the iconic film. Highway 12 will never be mistaken for the yellow brick road. But in Dassel, Minnesota, both intersect. This one right here. Here at the modest stone Hildred Olson. to which curious visitors are pointed by cemetery caretaker Tom Nelson. Basically they just say, hey, I'm looking for the Munchkin's grave. Do you know where it is? Easily overlooked in death. I'm Dorothy Gale from Kansas. But part of Hollywood history. She's walking out beside the white thing right there. Bill Ward knows right here. every frame That's Hildred Olson. of the Munchkin land scene right here. from the Wizard of Oz. In the circle. The 1939 film featuring the same Hildred Olsen who was front and center in the Dassel class of 1931. She's a true Dasselite. The volunteer with the Dassel History Center. We have one photo in 1952. Has spent the past two years. Hildred made her living as a vaudeville uh, actress. Delving into the life of Hildred Olson. This is one of the most unique photos in American history. Second oldest of four sisters born with dwarfism who grew up in this Dassel home. Hildred jumped at the chance to join fellow Minnesotan. Very close to Judy. Judy Garland in The Wizard of Oz. 36 inches made her the smallest munchkin on the stage. Bill's research Dassel History Center. will be the basis for a new exhibit. Here she is. Including a recreation of Hildred's Wizard of Oz costume. She probably is the most viewed Dassel resident that has or will ever live. Carolyn Holgey, it's, museum director, yeah. is probably right. Hildred is right here in the circle. But Hildred didn't live long enough to know the extent of it. Hildred died before the Wizard of Oz gained iconic status during annual television rebroadcast. She died in 58. I would have probably been about 15 years old. Mary Couser is Hildred's grandniece. If she was living today, she would be utterly amazed at how many years that movie has been played and people have watched it. In 2007, the Munchkins got their own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Hildred missed it all. Hildred's obituary failed to even mention the movie. And that meager stone. We knew right away we need to do better. Which brings us here. I'm etching Hildred Olson. The museum could not have landed a better wizard of granite than Julie Gustafson. I bet I've seen it 150 times. The movie and the munchkin. It's childhood memories, it's all that attachment to it. And the yellow brick road on which today rides a truck. From 1958 overdue, yes. Here it comes. With a stone and a base. He looks great. Intentionally the same height as Hildred. I think she'd say that's pretty cool. Hildred Olson may have been largely forgotten, but there's no place like home to finally get it right. All the fighter, you bet. Boyd Hoopert, Care 11 News, Dassel. The monument at the cemetery is just the start. On Saturday, people in Dassel dressed up as Wizard of Oz characters and honored Hildred with a parade through town. The doors were then opened on the new Hildred Olson exhibit at the Dassel History Center. If you're interested in visiting, you'll find Hildred's monument at her gravesite in the Dassel Community Cemetery, less than a minute drive from the museum. It's fantastic. Amazing story. My goodness, I never knew. Huge oh, fan know. when I was a kid. I collected Wizard of Oz stuff. I know, you said that. I don't remember Wizard of Oz collections, but I can see why. Oh, yeah. I had this dollar with the Wizard of Oz in the middle versus <laughs> George <laughs> Washington. Funny how you remember that? Yeah, my grandma We can't remember what we had for lunch? <laughs> no, no idea. Maybe I missed lunch. Darn it. Okay.